you might want to be able to share your course resources with another teacher. Perhaps a, a different teacher is going to be teaching your course next year and you would like to give them what you have done this year to at least give them a starting point, to enable them not to have to start over from scratch. Or it might be that uh, you are teaching a course, the same course as another teacher right now and you want to be able to share resources with each other so that you're not both doing everything. So here is what you need to do. First, you need to save your course in your resources as I've explained in a different uh, video training. Now, it's very important when you do that though, do not save your course in your home resources collection. That is, when you save a course, uh, you will see different collections. Here is your home resources. Do not save your course in that resources because you cannot share your home resources. Uh, you would need to create a new uh, resource collection like I've done here called faculty training. You can share things there. So anyway, when you, that's when you save your resources. So see the uh, separate instructions for saving materials for more information on that. So when you want to share, here's what you do. You open your personal resources. So go to resources, go to personal, and then click on the collection where you saved those course resources. Here I've got one called faculty training. And here is one that I saved on staff development. Now you should see a folder for the materials that you saved in the other uh, video, in the other process for saving it. So I've got one. You may have one for each course. You may have a number of them here. Uh, and you should see a folder for that. So click the box beside the folder uh, for the course that you want to share. And then just above that, you see this Share button, so click that. It will come up with a window that looks like this. So select the people that you want to be able to access your materials. Uh, you can type their name, that might help you find it. So I'm going to share this here. Uh, I'm doing this in my administrative account, so I'm going to share it with my teacher account. That's what I'm doing here. So click on that name. You see it's got a green checkbox, and if that's the only one, then uh, check Add People. And it says your changes have been saved. Now, the people that you share it with, by default, they, are, they have view-only access. You can see that if you go back here, click on that, and go back here to click Sharing, you see here it's view-only. If you want to, you can change that. You probably leave it view only if you are just uh, handing over your course materials to somebody else. Uh, they can copy it, they can see it, but they can't change what's in your resources. They can copy it to their own course and then they can make all the changes they want. But they can't change what you have here. If you want them to change it, it might be that maybe you and another teacher are collaborating on developing a course and you both want to be able to make changes. In that case, you could give them can edit privileges, and so they would make changes, which you would see. When you make changes, they would see it. But normally, if you're just handing over your materials to somebody else, leave them at view only. So if you change that, then you click Save Changes. Okay, and that's all you need to do to share it. Now, let's see what it looks like from that other person's perspective. Go to my other account here. Okay, now you see that I have a notification that something has been shared with me. Uh, what I will do, that other person, to access the resources, when the time comes, they'll pull down their resources, go to personal, and then you see over here under my resources, here's one that's called shared by others and there is that faculty training. And, uh, and here's all the materials that I shared with them. And they will be able then to copy this into their coursework 
uh, when the time comes. And I'm going to give separate instructions later for how to import course materials from the resources. This would be what they would do and what you will do, by the way, next year if you save your courses. But this is all you need to do to be able to share your course materials with somebody else.